Big old ruin is what we have here, apparently. Does it have any lead in it, though? That's what I want to know. You're welcome to try and follow me up here, dog meat, but I'll be very impressed if you manage it. Very impressed indeed. <laughs> oh, dog meat. Mate, whoever said the uh, the apocalypse was depressing, they were filthy, filthy liars. The apocalypse is hilarious. Got a dog, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's anything but calm. A regular pint size, I had a bomb. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4. We're in something called a workhouse, apparently. Um, where uh, we've mostly been just sort of running around looking for lead uh, for making ammunition with. But uh, <laughs> I've uh, we've discovered an interesting. I, I don't even know what you'd call this um, crime scene, I suppose. <laughs> um, we are as ever. Drunk as a skunk, or at least we will be in a minute. There we go. Yum yum. Um, I want to get into this safe. It's like a year's supply of lead. I'm just so done. I'm gonna retire. That's it. It is in fact binoculars battery. Huh? Well, if I happen to find a set of binoculars, I'm sure that'll be very useful. Um, alright, so this, this booze is going to wear, wear off pretty soon, so we should probably be getting back. Not in the least because, uh, dog, please, please move. Um, not in the least because it is, uh, getting late and, uh, we need to get back so that we can do some crafting and stuff like that and also build some beds so these poor people have somewhere to sleep. Uh, tonight... So, I, by the sounds of it, they've got their own like sleeping bags and stuff because they did say they'd been sleeping rough, but uh, sleeping on the floor at least. So um, you know, whatever. But we'll get them some beds. Um, we'll figure something out. Don't know what to do exactly when it comes to where we're gonna put them. I'd, I'd like to move them into different houses, if at all possible. Um, but I mean, we'll see. We will do whatever resources allow us to do, I suppose. I suppose I could just plop some, uh, sleeping bags down, but... Yeah, it'd be kind of defeating the point a little bit, wouldn't it? Goodness me, that was a long loading screen. Which is apparently not over yet. Good grief. Come on. Oh, come on, game. I really wish I was running this on an SSD, but I don't have the room. I do have an SSD partition on one of my hard drives, but uh, it's currently being taken up entirely by Skyrim. Because if you don't run Skyrim fully modded on an, on an SSD, it takes absolutely 10 million years to load um, most of the time. Um, a little bit like this, actually, although this is weirdly long, actually. It's not normally this long. But whatever. It's getting a bit irritating. I did just restart the game, though, so that'll probably, that's probably got something to do with it. Um. Wow, seriously? Is this for real right now? Oh, okay, we're good. It's just, uh, how did that happen? 
Um, I, I think my mouse somehow managed to click outside of the, the game window. So it actually had finished loading, but... What the fuck? Did you see that? Something just ran or rolled or something all the way down through these woods here and off over that cliff there. What the fuck? What's going on? There might be some bad people around, dog. And my question is, how the hell do we get down from here? Without killing ourselves! Oh, hello, we've got stairs. Okay, this'll do. Yeah, we should be getting back, really. Uh, woo. Uh, dog? Did you seriously just... You, you seem to be okay. Uh, fine then. Oh, that eggs. Don't mind if I do. All right. You, you'll figure it out, mate. You'll be fine. All right. So, yeah. See, there he is. There he is. You stand empty. All right. So let's get back. Let's offload some of this junk before, um, you know, before the booze runs out. <laughs> I need to see if I can brew some more. Can we do that, do you think? Can we brew moonshine or something, dog me? I mean, we can make all sorts of other crap. I don't see why we can't make some alcohol. I think that'd be a grand idea. Apparently we're getting a bit of a workout right now with all this sprinting, but hey. Dog's loving it, so. <laughs> uh, texture's loading in. I actually don't have the HD texture pack installed at the moment um, for two reasons. One, because it's 55 gigs. Uh, <laughs> the other reason is because apparently it makes loading screens even longer, so I've decided I can just about live without it for now. I tell you what, this alcohol does stick around for a while. I am happy to say. All right, goodness me, store all junk. Thank you very much. Although I, I am gonna want my uh, one or two of my bottles back. Actually, having said that, there we go. All right, so let's think. What do we want to do here? You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. Oh, this with the energy again. Stop it. That's none of your business. Sorry. I know to you it's private, but for me, I can see it plain as day. You leaving that icebox, waking up in a world that's not yours. The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. Uh, hmm. Maybe. Let me think it over. Well, it ain't like I'm going anywhere. The site will be here when you need it. That was a bit creepy. Somehow she knows that we came out of the cryo chamber thing in the vault, in spite of the fact that we've not told anybody about that. Uh huh. Well, maybe maybe a broken clock tells the right time twice a day. Uh, all right, let's see. I need to dump ammo, don't I? I mean, that's just reminded me. I Anyway, drugs. Would it be in here, do you think? I mean, we'd make all sorts of drugs. Apparently, we can't make any bloody booze. I suppose it's healing. That would be funny. Refreshing beverage. Removes all rads and cures addictions. Antiseptic, purified water, can a blood pack, rad away in a stim pack. Serum. Improves its resistance to insomnia. Ugh. Insomnia? Can't English, I'm sorry. Infection and lethargy. I could do some of that right now, good god. Um, 
Radaway. Right we could make Radaway? Right what, what's in Radaway right then? Antiseptic, plastic, purified water, and glowing fungus. Um, so that's what you use glowing fungus for. What about stem pack? Antiseptic, steel, and blood packs. Okay. What do you use the brain fungus for then? Anything with brain fungus. Glowing blood pack. What? Irradiated blood. Gives you rad resistance. Oh, wow. Utility? Maybe? We can make some ammo, though. That's good. There we go. Got some more 10mm rounds now. Excellent. Um, seriously, though. I cannot make any booze. Uh, this will have to be taken care of with a mod. Immediately. Well, not immediately, but... You can bet your ass once I'm done with recording this episode, I'm going to sort this whole booze situation out. This will not do. Goodness me. A rump. Uh, it's just, and I can do this at any of the stations. I don't have to do it this one, but force of habit and all that. Um, oh yeah, loads of ten millimeter rounds now. All right, so we can store all that. We can store those. We can store all of that. Don't need the binoculars, batteries at the moment. We can store all these bolts. Should I get my hands on a crossbow? I'll have plenty of ammo for it. Um. I guess we can keep the fusion core for now. Fusion cells, yeah, sure. The shotgun shells, I... Um, yeah, I suppose. I don't know. Just wanna... Double barrel shotgun. What do I have, I have with me at the moment? What can I... Ditch. That I don't need right now. I don't know what I meant to. Much use in a fight anymore. Scrap, yes, the there we go. Folks used to call me Murphy the Mad Woman. There we go. That's a useful bit of kit. The own I swear the only reason I'm carrying it right now is because uh it's because it's got the scope on it. I don't have any binoculars or anything. What'd that reduce the weight to? Well, a little bit, but... I'll leave it alone for now. What about the shotgun? What can we do with this? Lots of stuff, uh -huh. apparently. Speak up. Hard receiver, better damage. Sure. Sword off barrel. Short barrel. I'm sorry. I, I, I wouldn't be very good company right now. Long barrel. Superior range, better recoil, narrow spread. Superior range, widespread, standard. I know it. Full stock would be nice. Ah, nuclear material. You remind me of myself when I was a young woman, always getting myself into trouble. Um, that really significantly increases the weight of the damn thing. I put the long barrel on it, but it would be my preferred version of the shotgun, One to be honest. Day, sanctuary will be a vibrant community. I've seen... Yeah, please, just... Uh, I need to be alone right now. Well, don't come over here, then. I'll tell you what, I'm going to go for the sword-off barrel just because I want to reduce the weight of the damn thing. What am I going to do with this thing? Take care of yourself, dear. Mm, scope on this thing wouldn't be bad, actually. Short scope. 
And that means, now I put a scope on this. I used to be quite the I can store this, which doesn't have any ammo for it right now. Beautiful. Okay. Awesome. Which, uh, did I not favorite this thing? Hold on. Uh, there we go. Yay! There we go. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Kaplui. Sorry, Codsworth. I like it. I like it. It's cool. Oh, look at me. Darth Sally. Looks like a lightsaber. It's awesome. Um, right. Codsworth. Yeah, no, I'll talk, I'll talk to you later. You grumpy old git. Um, I should have done more. <laughs> I hope those raiders pay for what they've speaking done. Speaking of grumpy old gits. Uh, what we do with this? Not much. Lighter build. Ah, uh, yes, please. And the army fatigues. Oh, I'll do much with this at the moment. Shankar? <laughs> I can't do anything with that. I'll carry away right like right now. Oh, it's pretty good. Actually, it's pretty good. Sweet. Um I'm afraid I'm not much use in a fight anymore. But back in the day, folks used to call me Murphy the Mad Woman. Um Still fairly accurate today, I think, originally. Um right, guys, so um I need to get you guys sorted out with some accommodations, don't I? How am I going to go about that? Oh, filters. Oh, no, I don't need that crap right now. Um, I have a new... I still don't know, I don't know about this lookup failed thing here. I'm trying to figure out exactly what it is. It's... Oh, it's to do with Nuka World. Okay. I don't know why it says lookup failed, but... It's to, oh my goodness me. Yeah, it's to do with Nuka well, isn't it? Um I have this. Um No, don't want any of that crap. Um, <laughs> scavenger. Sleeping furniture. Beds. Hey, so we can make some makeshift beds, which is kinda cool, I guess. Steel wooden cloth, we can make one of these. It's kind of big though, it gets in the way a bit. I think I might want to try go for some more of these little beds like I've got. Um, instead. I like the shelves and stuff though, that's kind of cool. The containers and guard posts and whatnot. Trading Emporium. Oh my goodness me. Well, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves there with that, so uh, we'll leave that alone for now. Um, furniture. Beds. Yeah, some of these, really, I think. Or that. Takes up about the same amount of space. Um, let's see. Tell you what. No, I need need lights. I can't remember. Is it miscellaneous, maybe? Oh, here we go. Yeah, it's how we get candles. Okay. Uh, 
They're not very bright, are they? Oh, really? Can't put, can't, can't, can't put candles on there? Seriously? Really? Okay. What do you need for candles? Just a bit of oil and cloth. Um, uh, like fire barrel, but not terrifically cozy, is it? A fire or fire barrel? Oil lamp. Okay, so oil, glass, and steel, which we've got plenty of. Well, I mean, not so much in the oil department, but the others. Are okay, I guess. Um. You there. Oh man, no, I didn't want to do that. Can I not? There we go. I wanted to scrap you and put you there. There we go. That's better. There's a bit of light in here now, at least. Um. <laughs> oil lamp post, I suppose. Um, put some candles over here as well. There you go. See, this is looking very nice. Very cozy. Wonderful. Uh, not doing so good for oil at the moment, though, sadly. Uh, whatever. No... Right, scrap you, scrap you, scrap you. Scrap you, and can we please scrap you as well? Well, apparently not, I'll just put it back up there then. Um, Well, uh, I guess I could do something with the back rooms here, but I'm not sure I can be bothered right now, so let's just put some beds in here, I think. Call it a day. How many do we need? Well, there's one. There's another one. And fine, you know what? The spirit of sharing and making do and being reasonable. I'll put another one in the back of my house. There you go. That's four. How many of us are there? Me? Sturgis? Uh, Preston? This chap, Marcy, uh, Mamma Murphy, that means we need six beds. Oh, bugger. Um, that's a problem. <laughs> um, well, you know what, I'll just have to shove, uh, I'm gonna say shove one in here, but I don't think I'll make, I can make it fit unless... And I, 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 I always press escape, and I don't know why. Can we, uh... Scrap these and make enough room for a bed? Yeah, just... Just enough room. God, it is dark in here, isn't it? Um... There you go. That's much better. Um, well, it's a bit better. 
Just one more bed. That's all we need now, apparently. Um. I'm not sure we can really bring ourselves to scrap Sean's crib at this point. Um. Oh god, that needs to be moved. Um. I want to do that here. Can I scrap any of that? I can't scrap anything in here, apparently. None of that stuff. Um, right. Well. Um. Hello, Preston. I don't like how open this is with these windows being missing. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Guess I could fit another bed here. Right there. And uh, actually move this candle so it doesn't drip wax onto the bed. I wouldn't want that. There we go. That's better. Yeah, this will work. Well, you know, it'll have to work. You don't have a choice. <laughs> This is quite cozy in here, though. This isn't bad. I mean, this missing wall here is a bit of a shame, but yeah, then you could do worse. Uh, right, so. Six beds. Mission accomplished. Where's Sturgis? Silly question. I know I'm Just not the only person here. Follow the sounds of the hammering. I so much. Sturgis, what have I told you? Stay out of my way. I'm sorry, dude. I have to do it. it just... I like it. Having a place to sleep will improve <laughs> everyone's spirits. What we need now is a reliable source of clean water. You like it, eh? So that's the sort of stuff you're into, Sturgis. Okay. <laughs> uh. Oh, I guess drinking from the river isn't good enough for you. Well, we've been getting by, but the surface water isn't safe to drink regularly. I'm not looking for anything fancy. A well or two would do the trick just fine. Really? Fine, I had been thinking about it, I guess. Uh, need a water pump then, basically, don't we? Do, 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 do. Resources. Water. Water pump, water purifier, water purifier industrial. Concrete. Well, bollocks. Uh, where, 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 where are we going to find concrete on short notice? Um, what about... Ah Brilliant! Ta-da! Uh, where should we put it? Where should we put it? Um... Well... It can go... Outside my house! Yes! Seems only fair. I'm the one who's going to all the effort. There we go. Very nice. Um, and I just, I just want to move this because now it looks weird. Um, he says as he moves the table so that it now floats. Uh, let's move it over here then instead. This irritates me. There we go. That's better. That'll do, yeah. Okay. Sturgis! Will you stop it? Please. God's sake. The trick with water pumps is to find a good spot for them. Some place you can dig down the groundwater. Yeah, it's... I just... Uh, I just want to trade a few things. It's not what I wanted to do. What's going just... on? I've done it. The water. P oh God. Do I need to like build multiple water pumps or something? Is that the problem here? At least I can fill up my water bottles now. Instead of having to go to the stream and then boil it. And... 
all that palaver. Seriously though, it's like, it's not enough or something. Oh, it's not apparently. For heaven's sake. I guess we'll put another one over here then. There we go. That's gotta be enough. Yeah, it is. Good. Awesome. What are you doing, dog meat? Sturgis, you're gonna have to stop doing this at some point because I'm gonna wanna get some sleep. Sturgis. I feel better already, knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. I hope you don't mind me asking for some more help, but our food supplies are running low. If we're gonna settle here, <sighs> we'll need to get some crops established. Hmm. All right, well... What kind of crops are you looking for? Well, it doesn't much matter. Potatoes, mute fruit, corn, whatever you can get to grow. Mute fruit, okay. I always thought it was mutt fruit. I don't know why, dog. Uh, well, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. Seems to be growing well. Well, I suppose I can harvest these and... Uh -huh. See, now you're on the food. Maybe that'll stop him from hammering from now on. Uh, Alright, let's just... Uh, Let's see. Food. Well, I guess I can plant some more melons because I got the seeds from those ones. If it's going to let me. Not just be really, really awkward. So riddle me this, Sturges. Why is all the other fruit mutated, but the melons are just just fine? I guess that's all we got for now. Uh, was that enough? It was. Good. Just find a nice spot of ground and plant whatever you've got. Anything fresh will be a great change for us. I just want to trade a few things. No, I don't. No, I don't. Remember to I... sign somebody to take care of the crops. They need looking after if we're going to harvest anything. Oh, good point. Um, right, you're assigned. You're on watermelon duty. But forever shall you be on watermelon duty going forward. I guess I can find something better for you. Uh, Mars seeds are signed. Uh, where's what's his face? Where's what's your face? Jun Long. Was that was that the name? Where are you, dude? Where have you bugging off to? You all better make use of that that house now that I've gone to all the trouble of lighting it up and stuff. There you are. You, Milado, I'm going to assign you to food production. Is that enough? 80%. Alright, well. Uh, can I assign Preston? Where the hell is Preston, anyway? What about Codsworth? Can Codsworth farm? Question. I guess, um, I'm thinking of maybe bringing Codsworth with me next time I head out, actually, though, to be honest with you. So, now, Murphy, I know you're an old lady, but, um, you're gonna have to make yourself useful anyway, apparently, because we just don't have enough people. Um,. Now assigned. How, uh, now how's that gone down? And now I'm. Um, what? Uh, I'm confused. I don't suppose I can. No. <laughs> I was going to say. 
can't assign dog meat to uh, farming, apparently. Um, there you are, Preston. All right, you're going to have to muck in as well, mate, apparently, because we just still don't have enough. Can I assign you? No, I bloody can't. Oh, you... Right, let's see what happens when Mama Murphy actually gets there. Maybe it'll... Oh, sod it. I'm going to bed. Do you mind? Do you mind? Get out of my house, you bloody people. She gone. Oh, I don't know. This is intolerable. We've all sodded off to. <sighs> we still need an extra person on food production. And apparently... I don't know how to magic up this person from nowhere because apparently it's just it's not happening where have you all buggered off to right Preston I can't do anything with you are officially useless in the traditional sense of the term um where the hell have you all sodded off to seriously ah We have five people and four food things. So why is this an issue? Where's Marcy? Slacking layabout little... You seen her anywhere, dog meat? I swear to all the gods above when I find that woman, I'm going to strangle her. Sturgis is currently doing his job. Mama Murphy has disappeared completely. <gasps> oh no, I just had a really horrible idea. You know, I think they've somehow... gotten into the attic as it were do you didn't is that could they actually do that do you think you know because i put floor pieces in the ceiling so i'm kind of wondering if they've somehow managed to glitch that i mean uh, no surely not godsworth i'm afraid you're gonna have to make up the difference mate if you even can. There we go. I think that did it. Or not. Sturges. Go there. Jun Long. Apparently you're on a sign now. Why are you on a sign? It refuses to go above 80%. What is going on? This is seriously annoying. Do I need to, like, make more food thingies in order for this to work? Is that the problem? Way, yeah, it, yeah. I don't have any more. Where is that bloody woman? Uh, damn it. I, I guess I'm going to have to go out and look for some... ...wild plants or something. Ah, man. Well, anyway. Uh, it's like we're peckish and thirsty, so let's fix that. You're probably fed. 
and properly hydrated. Wonderful. Actually, I should have just taken a drink straight from the pump, shouldn't I? That would have been the more sensible option. Never mind. Let's go refill these. <sighs> Busy work simulator. Isn't it wonderful? Actually, it kind of is. I, I, I enjoy it, so. <laughs> it, but then again, this is coming from someone who actually genuinely enjoys playing The Sims, so, you know. Well, Codsworth, I guess you're going to have to stay here and do, you know, food stuff, I suppose, because apparently I need all the people I can get. I don't know. I don't know. I'm awfully confused, I'm afraid. Oh, hello. Alright, so we got this with plenty of ammo. This with plenty of ammo. This. This. And... You. Which we shall assign to five. There we go. Got sawn off shotgun. Very nice. Wreck the day of anything that gets close to me. With that, quite easily. All right, so, uh, dog, we're going to go foraging, apparently. So we're looking for wild potatoes, mute fruit, that sort of thing. Stuff of that nature. I think he's in Ten Pines Bluff in this direction. I mean, not in any great rush to go helping out other settlements when I can barely take care of the one right now, but we are headed in that direction anyway. I mean, you know. Hmm. You know, with all this undergrowth, it's actually going to be reasonably difficult to find what we're after. It's not going to really stick out like a sore thumb as it might have done previously. Oh, wheezy, wheezy, wine, wine, wine. Oh, God! God, that was way, way deeper than I thought it would be. Oh, dear. Um... How are we doing? Uh, we could do with a bit of rad away at some point. What do we got here? Wild carrot flowers. Could we use that, do you think? Well, we'll find out when we get back. Should really keep my weapon out around here. Don't know what I'm gonna bump into. Why are these fences here? What purpose do these fences serve exactly? What are they fencing? Not a lot by the looks of things. They're just sort of there. Well, I mean, 200 years ago they were probably fencing something, but right now, not so much. God, what a bloody beautiful morning. Actually gorgeous. Uh, what the fuck is going on here? Okay, well, <laughs> moving on. Um, are we <laughs> ever so slightly off the edge of the map right now? Okay, well, let's uh, let's turn around and head this way. That's what they're fencing, isn't it? The, the edge of the map. <laughs> Mystery solved. Hello. Big old radar dish over there. Satellite dish. Not sure which what you'd call it. Well, there's an awful lot of wilderness.
more wilderness than you actually initially realised, actually, to be fair. Um, oh, man, now look at this. How cool is that? Oh, man, you're just wandering on through the wilderness, and then in the midst of all the undergrowth and stuff, you just suddenly find what's left of an ancient road. That is... Ah, oh, that's so cool. I really do love this this grass mod. I forget what it's, exactly it's called, but... Um, I think it's called Real Grass or something, but oh, it really, really... It's a real improvement. I do like it, because it leads to moments like this. Where you just... Yeah, ah, oh, so cool. So cool. I love it. I love that whole overgrown... Um, post-apocalypse kind of a look. It's very cool. And as I said, it's it's very much in stark contrast to uh, the deserts of previous Fallout games. I do like it. I do like it. Oh, we've got a small lake. Some description. What do we have here? Nothing I can use, apparently. It looked a little bit like razor grain almost, so I was kind of like, ooh, ooh. Maybe I can grab some, but no. He knows there's no music right now. I'm having a bit of a, it's quiet, too quiet kind of a moment. I'm not even sure exactly where I'm going right now. It's sort of a... Okay. Um, we may be a little bit off the beaten track here to sort of slightly a ridiculous degree. I'm, I mean, I'm actually a little bit surprised because this doesn't look like we're off the edge of the map, does it? Like, there's a stream here and stuff, you know? But, um, yeah, we've well and truly gone off the edge of the map. <laughs> I climb up this. I tell you what, what running around in all this undergrowth and stuff does make me wish for is I would love a Bethesda style game like this, right? But one that's set on the frontier in like the 1700s. You know, Last of the Mohicans type shit. During the, um, French and Indian War, or whatever it's called. That would be seriously bloody cool, if you ask me. That would be really awesome. I'd, I'd really play the shit out of a game like that. Um, But it, as long as it was done right, you know, done with the kind of attention to detail and stuff that a team like Bethesda would give it, as opposed to, you know, someone like bloody Far Cry getting their hands on it and turning it into an open-world collect-a-thon FPS bullshit thing. Um... You know what I mean? Uh, let's just go south for a bit, eh, dog meat? Actually, what the hell is dog meat? That's a good question. Well, I'm sure we'll catch up. Um. Or, you know, alternatively, actually, just a Fallout game that is set out in that sort of region with that kind of a theme. You know, like, you know, like, like how New Vegas had an Old West sort of a theme. I, I wouldn't mind a Fallout which had a sort of old, you know, 18th century frontier theme with lots of tribals in it, you know. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Ow. Die, you little... I am now exceedingly glad I attached this bayonet. You little... Thank you. Ouch. Let me 
drink now. You little shit. Is that good enough? Yeah. Still no dog. Oh, there he is. There you are, you little rascal. Okay. Where the hell are we? I found a railroad. I suppose that helps. I'm afraid we did get a little bit lost there, dog meat. Um, more wild carrot flowers. I hope they're useful. Was that a distant crack of thunder I heard? I do hope not. What have we here? Fences, apparently. Oh boy. Hello. Uh, something's brewing up. Uh, let's go ahead and put that on. Gas mask time. Anything in here? No? Okay, let's get away from that. Bloody hell. Oh. Bug on the shell. 38 tracer pistol. Rad stag hide outfit. Athletic outfit. All oh, the differences. Day tripper. Bobby pin box, yes. Get in. And soap we can make candles out of, unbelievably. Um, that's raining a bit. That's... That's like, oh, Jesus. You know what? That oh, fucking mannequins, man. Just, where is it? You, yeah. Creep the shit out of me, those things do. Right. I turned the camera around and saw him behind me. I nearly shot myself. Um, this gives me a little bit of damage resistance. It's virtually nothing, but it's a little bit. Um, and there was the Radstag hideout, but... Which... Sure about that. Wait for damage resistance one. Nah. Bit rubbish. This ain't so bad. Does it give me anything else? No, it's just DR2. This is the DR0 of the army fatigues. But the army fatigues do give us that extra strength and agility, which I really like. So, yeah, I can get lost. Yeah. What do we have here? Potatoes! Oh my god! I'm kind of stealing right now, aren't I, really? I don't know who lives here. But, uh... I, uh... I actually don't care. I think hot plates are useful, aren't they? I forget why exactly, but... Yeah, they got circuitry and screws in them, right? Yeah. Nobody here except for that dead guy down there. Oh, there's more buildings over this way. <sighs> Whoa, hello. What do we have here? It's 
sweet mother of Christ. Someone in hot pink power armor. Well, I don't want to fuck with them. That is not happening. Definitely not. I can scout it out a bit, see what they've got. Generate oh turrets. Fucking hell, yeah, this is a bit beyond my pay grade right now. You know what? We've actually got what we came for. Plantable potatoes. Let's leave this lot alone. I know I quick save, and it's a force of habit kind of a thing, ultimately. The dude over there. Another one there. They don't look very friendly to me, um, but anyway, I do, I, I would like to treat this as, uh, as if I were playing it with survival mode in the sense that if I die, I have to go back to the last time I slept, um, in a kind of <laughs> edge of tomorrow, live, die, repeat sort of a way, um, Why does this bit seem to be glowing? Oh, <gasps> fucking hell! You know something, actually? I was gonna sneak away, but you guys make some good eating. You really do. As long as they get the drop on you, you're actually pretty easy to kill, so. There we go. Oh, got a ruined house. Hello. What have we here? Turn train cars and all sorts. Iguana bits. Brain fungus. Handcuffs. Hold the tote lunchbox. Teddy bear for dog meat. There you are. Or the teddy? Teddy for dog meat? You could K token. Uh desktop picture frame. Yeah, nothing really useful there. Is there something up on that second floor though? Well, nothing I can really get to, so forget about it. Expecting something to be lurking around the corner. Ah, I love how everything is soaking wet when it rains in this game. It looks so cool. It's immersive as shit. Desk fan, hooray! Whoa, hang on a minute. Uh, well, hello there. Broken power armor frame. It's a set of T-51 power. Are you fucking joking right now? Are you having a laugh? Uh, it's sort of glitched through the floor, but I shouldn't really be able to get it, you know? It would be cheating. I can't carry it all with me anyway. Uh, 
I'm just wondering how you're supposed to open this properly, like. Ah, that would be how. Security's too tight. Yeah, I figured as much. Uh, well, that explains that. All right, well, where are we right now? I feel like I should make a mental note. Oh, we're right next to Ten Pines Bluff. Well, I'll be damned. Uh. All right, well, yeah, mental note next to Ten, Pli Ten Pines Bluff. There's a freaking Super T-51 power armor just sitting there ready for someone to take. This would be Ten Pines Bluff up here, one would assume. Might as well go say hello, I suppose. Nope, they don't shoot us. It's not really much of a settlement, is it? Yeah. Birds. That's not dealt with. <laughs> Wild cool. Robbing them blind. Well, like I give a damn. At least I can at least they can do for me. <laughs> It's wild corn, though, so I guess it's not technically theirs. Ten Pines Bluff. Well, hello there. Better put the weapon away. Hello. How you doing? Fancy a chat? Excuse me. Farming's as honest as honest work gets. Have you heard anything about your cousin? No. No word yet. I doubt we'll ever learn what happened to him. I guess there's not much we can do about it now. Don't fancy a chat? <clears throat> my back hurts. My feet hurt. No. Everything hurts. Seriously? What about you? Hey, what do you want? We don't need any more trouble around Steady here. on there. Do you always point a gun at everyone you meet? I'm afraid I do these days. If we lose any more of our crops, Why we're done you? for. Now you best get yourself on down the road. we got nothing for you. If I told you I'm with the Minutemen, would you still want to shoot me? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traders, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. Um. Oh, I would love to know more about that, but apparently we don't have the option to ask, so. I didn't expect to get lectured by the people I came to help. Hey, I didn't mean to give offense. I'm damn glad you're here, no mistake. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. Uh -oh. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. Uh... Will you be willing to join the Minutemen once I've dealt with those raiders? Well, we'll certainly give it a good long think. People have gotten used to not being able to count on you folks. That's not going to change overnight. If this group of raiders that's bothering you is the one led by someone wearing pink power armor, we might have issues. Uh, no. Okay, it's not that... Th Whew. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. Okay, right, that's a relief. I mean, it'll be a relief until I get there, and then I learned that the ones in the Corvega factory 
are led by three people in pink power armor. Got a doll, baby. I love her so. Nothing else like her anywhere you go. A man, she's anything but calm. 